Hi students, good, good morning. Today we shall begin our history second part. Last class we studied the chapter, first part we studied. What was our chapter name? When, where and how. Then at that day we studied up to where in sources of Indian history. Today we, we can start from the sources of Indian history. Listen, sources are mainly divided into two, which are the primary sources and the secondary sources. Primary sources and secondary sources. Primary sources means what? Primary source means the remains which is left by our ancestors. For example, artifacts, coins, pictures, like that things are including there in a primary sources. Today, we can start from secondary sources. Which are the secondary sources of history? Which are the secondary sources of history? First one, autobiographies. Listen, autobiographies give an account of a past events. Autobiography give an account of a past event. It is a, it is a introspective accounts written from the memory of a person. It is written from the memory of a person. It will depends upon the attitude of that person. Autobiography, there is a limitation for a autobiography. The autobiography will depends upon the attitude, attitude of the author. Listen, when autobiography gives us an account of a past event, it is a introspective accounts taken from the memory of a person. It is, uh, what is the limitation of a autobiography? It will depends upon the attitude of that author. The attitude of that person. That is the autobiography is the first example of a secondary source of history. Then second one, government records. Listen. British Britishers give importance for recording their things or uh, events. They are keeping the, keeping the, they are very interested to keep the records of their events. Government records means especially uh, which uh, they mainly they are collecting the uh, records about their act, bill, their me, uh, uh, records about their meetings. Such a things are recorded and keep them that they keep there in a archives. They were set up archive in order to keep the files which is related to their meetings, their act, their bill, their, their admin, administrative reforms. Such a things are recorded and keep it there in a archive. Archive is a place. What do you mean by archive? Archive is a place where we are keeping the records. Then in order to keep the government records, they were set up the archives. First one, they were set up archives. National Archive of Delhi. First one, National Archive of Delhi. Second one, the Museum of the National Museum of India. National in 
India. National Museum of India set up in New Delhi. These are the important archives set up by British East India Company. Britishers set up the archive in order to keep their government records which are the first one National Archive of Delhi, second one National Museum of India which is set up there in Delhi. Next record sources of history. Next source mapping uh, surveys and mapping. Surveys and Britishers conducted surveys in order to know about the length and width of the country. Length and width of the country. Why they conducted surveys? They were conducted the surveys in order to know the length and width of the country. Moreover, the surveys, surveys help them to know about the newly subjugated area. Newly or a newly annexed area. By conducting the surveys, the Britishers will get an idea about the newly annexed area. Newly annexed territories. Surveys help them for that. Next, mapping. Mapping help them to locate the landscape and the topography. Mapping helps the Britishers for one to locate the landscape and the topography. Surveys are very important source of history. Then, this is the first, listen, the first survey was, they were set up in a one survey of India set up in Dorado. Survey of India India was set up were set up in Dorado. Dorado. Survey of India was set up in a Dorado. The, the post of surveyor of India. The post of surveyor of India. Started in which year? In 1815. Post of India. Started in 1850. 1850. Listen, which are the importance of survey? Survey help them to know about the length and width of the country, and they, they, they were set up, they were conducted the set up there. Survey of India was set up there in a Daradun. Then the post of surveyor of India was found. Uh, Started in 1850, the post of surveyor of India. Then mapping, what is the role of a mapping in a history? Map help them to locate the landscape and the topography. Maps help them to locate the landscape and the topography. Now we can go to next source. Conducting census. Conducting census. Listen. By conducting census, when the Britishers will get an idea of a population, number of people, those who are living in a particular area, but through this, it is very easy for their administration. It is very easy to implement the programs according to the number of population. Moreover, it is very easy to know about the revenue of that particular area also. If you are getting the population and if you are getting the information about a people by conducting the census, we will, that Britishers will get an idea about their revenue and moreover it will help to introduce a developmental programs or if they wish to implement any programs there it is very easy to know.
by conducting the census. Next, what? Indigenous records. Indigenous records. Listen, indigenous the record means pre, indigenous records are prepared by an individuals. Indigenous records are prepared by an individuals. It will depends upon the attitude of that person then through indigenous product. The, uh, for example, which are the examples of an indigenous product. First we can go through that one. Hindu Swaraj written by Mahatma Gandhi, Hindu Swaraj. Then one, poverty and un-British rule which is written by Dada by Navaroji. Through that book, Gandhiji and Dada by Navaroji and revealing, they, were, but they can express their attitude towards our, to, uh, they can express their attitude. Through such a book, we will get an idea about the social, economic and uh, social and economic conditions of our country. Through, through this, we can, we, the, we will get, get one social, economic condition of our country. That is why indigenous records helps to mould the patriotism. Eh? Indigenous records helps to mould the patriotism among them. Indians. That is why Indian records has an important role in a so-so Indian history. Indigenous product uh, records. Then next one. Next next so-so films. Films. Films, first film which is released in Hindi. But which was that one? Anybody has any idea? Eh? That which is released in 1936. Achut Kanya. Achut Kanya was the first film. Listen, what during like indigenous product, indigenous records, films also helps to mould the patriotism among the city Indians. It helps to uh, make awareness about ordinary citizen. It is very easy through the film. Films we can spread the patriotic feeling very easily or a national feeling very easily because common people can easily convey the message through the films it is very easy to convey the message among the common people that is why films had an important role in the source of what Indian history then next one newspapers newspaper Listen, the first newspaper which is edited and published in India, it was Bengal Gazette, edict, uh, edited and published by a James Augustus Hickey in 1780s. The first newspaper was edited in India, which was in a English language, in which year? In 1718, it was edited and Published by a James Augustus Hickey. What was the name of that newspaper? Anybody has any idea? Bengal Gazette. Bengal Gazette. Bengal Gazette. That was the first Indian newspaper published in English language. Then after that. After the addiction of the Bengal Gazette, Indians are started to publish the, the newspaper in their in their own vernacular languages, which is easy, which is very easy to convey the message, or which is which is helps to convey the 
message among the ordinary citizen. Listen, which are the, in 1880s. Dig Darshan, the in a first Indian newspaper. The first Indian newspaper published in a vernacular language that was in 1818. We published the, the newspaper Dig Darshan. Dig Darshan. Then same day, same year again we edited one more newspaper which is known as a one which is known as a Samajar Darpan. In again 1880, the same year we again we one, published one newspaper which is known as a Samajar Darpan. Then after that, we published so many newspapers in Sanskrit, Hindi, Persian language. Miratul Akbar is an example of a newspaper which is edited and edited in a Persian language. Miratul Akbar. Miratul. Edited in a Persian language, then Bengal Herald. So many newspapers are there. Listen, newspaper. Next, last source of history. Secondary, last source of secondary source of history. Which is that? Buildings and monuments. Buildings and the monuments. Buildings and the monuments. Britishers are the great builders. They were built many buildings, bridges, then railway, road, such a things which is one constructed by the Britishers that is the, the that is considered as the secondary so that is also considered as the source of Indian history. Source of Indian history. Listen, now is it clear to you which are the secondary source of History, which are the secondary source of history. First one, autobiography. What is the peculiarity of what is the limitation of autobiography? It will depend upon the attitude of a person. That that author. Next one, government records. Britishers are Britishers give importance to keep their records. For that purpose, they were set up the archives. Archive is a place where the records are kept which are the arches they will they set up there the museum of india next day hmm. the museum of india and the national archive of delhi national museum of india and the national archive of delhi these are the uh, archives set up by the Britishers in order to capture their records. Then surveys are and mapping. They were conducted surveys in order to know the uh, length and breadth of the country. Moreover, it will help to them to know about the newly annexed territories. Mapping. Mapping help them to locate the topography and landscape very easily. Then conducting census. By conducting the census, it is very, uh, very easy to you see for a uh, their administration why they are conducting survey means for the smooth running of their administration they were conducted the census next indigenous product uh, records indigenous records are prepared by an individual that helps to mold the patriotism among the citizens then films achut kanya was the first hindi film released in india in which year in 
Achute Kanya was the first film. Then the other films are related. What was the main theme of the films which is released at that time means the caste system, discrimination, the sufferings of the women, such a things, uh, such a things was the main theme of that films. It will, the films helps to convey the message among the especially among the ordinary people help uh, films helps to convey the message next uh, that uh, conveying the message among the ordinary people helps to mold the patriotic feelings then newspaper first newspaper war, was edicted in english language during 1780s which is known as a Bengal Gazette, it was edicted by and edicted and published by whom? James Augustus Hickey. Then after that, we are started to publish the newspaper in a vernacular language, that means our own language, which are which was the first newspaper published in India. In 1818, Dik Darshan was published, that was the first newspaper which is published in a vernacular language in same year we published Samajar Darpan after that we are started to publish the newspaper in a Persian language Hindi Sanskrit like that then Miratil Akbar Bengal Herald these are the example etc and then building last points about a secondary source of history building and a monuments building and monuments Britishers are the great builders they constructed many building and building railways bridge road such a things that is also one of the source, secondary source of resources listen conducting survey one more point in which year we conducted that First census in India. First census was held in India during 1872. 1872. I forgot to tell that. First census was held then in 1872. Listen, is I hope all the concepts are clear to you. Now our history first chapter is over. If you have any doubt, you can call me. That's all. Have a nice day.